What's working in your engineering career and what's not working? Have you ever asked yourself those questions? This is a big issue with a lot of engineers that we coach through our EMI coaching and training programs. We're very smart in terms of thinking analytically and optimizing systems and processes. However, we don't seem to do that for our own careers. So if you're having success with one skill set or one client, accentuate that success. Identify why you're good at it and what the value is there and accentuate it. And on the flip side, if something's not working well for you, either abandon it because you're probably wasting your time with it or fix it. But don't just keep doing it if it's not working. This is something that you should reflect on at least monthly in your career. Just look back and say, what's working, what's not working? If you need to ask your supervisor or your team members, ask them. This is such an area for improvement. When you wanna think about professional development and your growth, and when I get questions from engineers, I wanna improve my career, I wanna advance quicker, the first question that I can ask them is, well, what's working for you? Let's talk about that, let's look at that, let's accentuate that. Or, what's the biggest barrier? What's not working? What's holding you back? So this is kind of a simple Engineering Manager 8020 Shorts video this week, but I believe if you ask yourself these two questions, you think through the answers and you apply them, you can transform your engineering career. Remember to subscribe here to our videos. We have weekly 8020 videos and we also publish many of our podcast episodes, the Civil Engineering and the Engineering Career Coach Podcast. Until next time, I hope you continue to engineer your own success.